What the hell does that tell us? Because people will rightly say, well, how does a bacterium, you know, survive in the harsh conditions of space and whatnot? It's a good question. It isn't those little bits on their own. They're entombed in cosmic dust, right? And I think it's 100 tons a day of cosmic dust, which is really comet dust. It's disintegrating comets, and you have a zodiacal cloud out in the solar system. There's a tremendous amount of dust out there, and we're sweeping through it all the time. And these are little bits. Now, some of them are pretty big, even be visible, right? So if you take a bacterium or small, you know, diatom or whatnot and stick it inside one of these pieces of cosmic dust, it's orders of magnitude larger, right? It makes a great little spaceship. And the stuff is desiccated, hibernated, and in switch-off mode. It's in just add water and, and heat, and it'll come back. And we proved that, because we've taken every form of little life in space, painted it on panels, exposed it to space, and most of it survives just fine, which would suggest why would evolution endow these little creatures with the ability to withstand space unless made or evolved in a fashion that could inhabit space.